Hey everyone, so today I thought I would start a new series here on my channel. I'm obsessed with everything to do with Disney, the princesses, their sidekicks, the villains, everything. So I thought I would start a series inspired by those amazing characters. So first off I'm going to do Snow White because she's the OG princess and who, are, who else is better to start this series off than the first princess. So if you want to see what kind of look I create inspired by the beautiful Snow White, keep on watching. To start off this look I'm going to do my skin since Snow White is so flawless I'm going to use my favourite foundation which is the NARS Sheer Glow which gives a flawless base. But first I'm going to use the Astralis Medias Touch Primer all over my face. Just pushing my hair back. And obviously for Snow White I have to wear Darius. So like I said I'm going to use my NARS Sheer Glow foundation. I'm going to apply it with a real technique sponge. First, I'm going to dot it all over my face. For concealer, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in porcelain. Taking it in a triangle shape to conceal those bags. I'm also taking it in the areas I want to highlight. It's gonna come as no surprise, but I'm gonna be using my Essence All About Matte Powder. Like, there's that little left that I am dying to use it up, and it's smashed, so. For eyebrows today, I'm going to use my one of my favorites, the Cheek Cheek Brow Pomade in Taupe, and my Essence Make Me Brow. I love this combo, it's the best. I'm going to continue filling my eyebrows in off camera because they're just not working. And I'll be back to start on the eyeshadow. Yay! So apparently I have decided that I'm doing bold brows, so we're going to deal with that. Just brushing off that excess powder. I'm going to use a little bit of my Australis powder just to set everything else. So I'm just going to soak up any excess powder on my face with the Mario Desku Facial Mist. So I'm going to be using these. This is the 88 Original Palette by Coastal Scents. And this has got some random shadows up this end and then Coastal Scents colours up this end. So I'm going to be using these to create my Snow White look. So I'm going to take this colour, which is Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek, and start working that in my crease. So I'm going to start with the Coastal Scents palette. I might mix some of these colours down here. I'm going to take these two right here and just start adding some blue into the crease. So I'm going to go on with this blue right here on the same brush and start working that into the crease taking it all the way in and I'm making sure that when I look in the mirror I can still see it because I've got hooded eyes. I just always look in the mirror and see if the shadow that I've placed is in the right spot. I'm just going back in with Chrome Brulee and softening the top. I'm also going to run Chrome Brulee under my eye. I'm making sure that I kind of keep it in a circular shape so when I run my brush it connects and it's in a bit of a circle because Snow White's sleeves were, you know, circular and puffy and I kind of want to bring that into the look. So I'm going to attempt something that I've never done before. I'm going to try and carve out half of my lid so I can put yellow on it for her skirt. This could end flipping terribly. I think I've done it. I think. So I'm going to take this yellow shadow, this is bright yellow by Coastal Scents, on a flat shade of brush and I'm going to pack that over the concealer. So I'm going to take this short kind of shader, dense brush and electric blue by Coastal Scents and start working that on the outer. Third of my lid. I'm 
just kind of doing little wiggly motions over the yellow to blend. I'm gonna go back in with that second brush, the Morphe one, that creme brulee, and just start by fusing the top edge. So it's starting to look like that. I'm just gonna take my Revlon Bone Coloured Shadow on this fluffy brush. Make sure everything's blended. So I'm now gonna take Pomegranate Red from Coastal Scents on this little pencil brush. working that red underneath the blush line. I'm just taking that first blue brush and just trying to bring a little bit more blue up into the crease. I'm just taking a pencil brush with creme brulee. And I'm just taking that blue brush to just bring the blue out a little bit further so it connects with the red. Let me blend. Okay, so that is how my eye makeup is looking. I totally forgot to consume you guys in. Sorry about that. So I'm now going to start on my face makeup. So for bronzer, I'm going to use my Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer on this Real Techniques brush. Because it just makes it very, very diffuse. And since this is Snow White, who's gonna like porcelain skin? rosy cheeks. I don't want to go overboard on the bronzer or contouring. I want the eye makeup to speak for itself and the cheeks to remind you of still Snow White. I'm using this bronzer because it's a glowy kind of bronzer. It's not over the top. To contour I'm going to use my Revlon palette and full tone shade and just do a little bit. So I'm just going to take the banana powder out of that kit and just put that under my eyes. Counteract a little bit of darkness that's occurred. So for blush I'm going to use my Love Flush palette by Too Faced and I'm going to use a mixture of these two to create that little bit of a rosy flush that she has. I was mainly focusing the pink on the apples of my cheeks and then the coral one towards the back. Just diffusing it a little. So I'm going to use this. This is the On The Glow I'm Amazing Palette by Sports Girl. I'm going to use the gold shade on my inner corner. So I'm going to take that gold on a shimmer tulip brush Put it on my cheekbones as well, down the nose, Cupid's bow, buff that out a little bit because I applied a little bit too much, applying a little bit above my eyebrows, I'm kind of taking it in a bit of a C shape, so on my cheekbone and onto my forehead. So for my lip colour I'm going to be using the Sports Girl Lip Chalk in Vertigo, hopefully this matches, but it should. Okay, so to make it a little bit more pink, I'm going to use the Shine 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 Lip Gloss by Essence. Well, that doesn't look too bad. I'm now going to finish my eye makeup. To finish off my eye makeup, I'm going to use a nude liner in my waterline. Since it's Snow White, I might just mix a little bit of white eyeliner in. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. For false lashes today, I'm going to be using the Ardell Demis. So I'm just going to be using my Ardell brush on adhesive. Okay, it's on. Not gonna touch it. Not gonna touch it. Keep touching it, it will fall off, and then I will cry a little bit. I'm now going to use the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal. Colossal Big Shot, or whatever the name of it is. I'm also putting mascara on my bottom lashes. 
So I'm just going to put a little bit more blush on, but I'm just going to use whatever the heck is left in the brush. Because I know that if I dip it back into the palette, that's when crap will hit the ceiling. I'm just putting a little bit on my temples to make it a very red toned bronzer. And that is the completed look. I think I could have probably done more of a, like an orangey nude lip, but the way it is, it still works, which I am happy with. But I was thinking of doing another Snow White look, which is like her traditional, if you look at her photo, the porcelain skin, the blush cheeks, the doe eyes, the red lip. I might do that further down the track, like a recreation of the actual looks, but at the moment I'm just going to do a makeup look inspired by them. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of any other video ideas you want to see. Or answer the question which is, who is your favourite Disney princess? Mine is definitely 110% Ariel. I love her. She's my favourite. Don't forget to subscribe, which is either here or here. I can never tell. It's in one of the corners or it's down below. All the products I've used today will be listed down below. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!